Welcome back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Talk here at SG Taurus. I'm your host, Matt Lathan. And today we have on a very special guest. It is someone who some of you contractors might not be familiar with, but someone very important to our world in the distribution side of things at SG Taurus. And it is Talbot G, the CEO of Hardy. And first off, Talbot, thank you so much for coming on. We're really excited to have you on Taurus Talk. Uh, yeah, I, you know, there's only a handful of companies that could get me, uh, you know, trying to be productive at 8 a.m. in Vegas <laughs> after a long night the night before. But the SG Taurus, no doubt, definitely one of them. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, we are here. We're continuing. It's our, our final day here in Las Vegas for Epic 2023 with our friends from Contract University with EGIA. And Talbot, before we get too far into it, can you just let people know who you are? what Hardy is and kind of the, the high level overview of Hardy. Sure. Yeah, no, no problem at all, uh, Matt. My, so Hardy is the trade association for wholesale distributors. And our, our mission is to make wholesale distributors the channel of choice for HVACR, manufacturers and contractors, which means companies like SG Taurus, right, are the, the, the primary choice for vendors to go to market, for contractors to buy their products, right? You guys are fantastic members of ours, a perfect example of excellent wholesale distribution and we want to just keep helping you get as great as you want to be right so right. all those things that maybe you don't have all the time for is really what we focus on to really just be additive to, to your strategies and your growth going forward yeah so when you and i were talking before you know to kind of bring it back for our listeners here imagine aca sure imagine you know those type of organizations only for the distributors end of it and we have a great relationship with you folks at Hardy and go to all the conferences and everything and Matt Bedard, our CEO, and Kevin Ronigan, and Mike Tucker Donahue, you know, everybody's, everybody's out of these things. But when you look at someone like us at SG Taurus and we're working with you folks at Hardy from the contractor end of things, what benefit does that bring to them? Kind of tangible benefits that that can bring to them when they look at our relationship with Hardy. Yeah, great question. So first of all, kudos for being here at EGIA. Um, we've been really impressed with EGIA and they do a lot to tangibly help contractors be better businesses, to grow professionally, profitably, do things the right way. And that's part of the reason we just announced a partnership with EGIA, which we can talk about later on. But to answer your direct question, wholesale distribution is not just about providing boxes, right? It, there's, it, it's, it's about value add. It's mm -hmm. really about what is it that you're doing in the marketplace that helps those contractors be more successful. And that's what we try to focus on, right? So it's an incredibly complex world these days in oh, yeah. HVACR, right? And uh, we, our goal is to have the con our distributor members be the most well-versed, well-educated, thoroughly knowledgeable sources of information that any contractor can do business with. Because honestly, today, that is their weapon of differentiation, right? You know, for the most part, technical skill and all that sort of thing, it's certainly very, very important. But it's that broader knowledge of all the things affecting consumer buyer decisions on products, system replacements, everything like that. But if they're not getting great value from you as the distributor to learn and understand all these things that are moving so fast, they're just another contractor. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really what we strive to help the Tauruses of the world out there to, to be able to do. I think that anyone who has listened to this or has worked with us knows that while we're very proud of the, you know, the quote unquote boxes that we sell, we work with some amazing manufacturers, we're more proud to have the personal communication the, whether it be this, whether it be our flex times that we do, whether it be some of our lunch and learns, our training courses, we want to be, like we say in our tagline, your partner. We're not here to just sell you the box. And that's why I think we align so well with the folks at Hardy, because that's what you're all about. It's not, it's not the sell, 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 sell mentality. It's the teach, 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 teach as you sell. Now, when we look at some of these complex things, there are so many different complexities, especially, I mean, over the past 12 to 18 months, I think the industry has changed more than it had in the past 25 years before that. What's kind of one of the major things that is, as we sit here right now in Las Vegas, that a contractor should probably have on their radar that's you know going to be happening here in 2023? Honestly, first off, let's, let's back up. I mean, uh, uh, 
a testament to Taurus's success. A great expression of exactly what you're talking about. Because frankly, with supply chain issues, production issues, you couldn't be just about the product mm -hmm. in the box, right? You had to deliver additional value. And, you know, it's a really tough time for distributor salespeople because first time in their careers, they're saying no more than they're saying yes. Right. Really, really tough time. But that's really when the best distributors separated themselves because they were adding value in very tough times, very uncertain times, and finding some way to get the job done. It probably wasn't the exact way the contractor may have asked for it or <laughs> wanted it to be, but you found a way right. to, to do it, right? And, and that's what it's all about. So I think that type of value add is the sustainable part of value add. So if I'm talking to contractors, I'm going to say, you're about to go into that stage now in 2023 and probably 2024, where there is not this rising tide that lifts all boats mm -hmm. and you could be marginal and still do very, very well. Like this is when the wheat and shaft starts getting separated in right. 2023. So the contractors who, the way I've articulated is the best educated and eloquent contractors are the ones who will win in 2023 because there's so much noise hitting the end consumer. And they're going to challenge you with questions. And those contractors who have that deer in headlights look and or a clear hollow answer to mm -hmm. those questions are, are going are gonna to pay a price. However, the educated and eloquent contractors, which means everyone on their teams who are customer facing, mm -hmm. can with confidence, answer complex questions about M1, about IRA incentives, you know, what, you name it, are going to be the winners. They are going to see share gains. They are going to grow. They're going to have acquisition opportunities. Like right. they're going to be the winners in the, in the next 18 months for sure, right? We'll have to see how the muscle memory is for some of these companies mm -hmm. because uh, honestly, I, I, it's, it sounds pejorative, but a lot of marginal companies did very, very well the last two years. And I think those companies are going to get exposed in a big way in 2023. Yeah. You know, when everybody was looking to, they were home, so they were looking to upgrade things, they were looking to change things, everybody won. And I think kind of bringing it back to where we've been on the conversation, right? The most educated, most eloquent on these things are going to win. Well, we work with the contractors to get them information. On the other end of it that the contractor doesn't see is we are working with you and Hardy to formulate the proper message to give to the contractors and working together to get ahead of things, right? So that we're not being reactive. Because if we're reactive at Hardy and SG Taurus, well, then the contractor is reactive to our reaction and it puts everyone behind. So it's that forward thinking and trying to, to get ahead of the game for our contractors so that they can be that eloquent, educated, train everyone and learn all this stuff ahead of time rather than be sitting there again, like you said, deer in the headlights. And homeowners have become so smart in terms of their perceptions of what they need in HVAC systems, in IAQ, in what you know, their home comfort. And we want to make sure that we are on top of it, both from our end to speaking with Hardy and then delivering the message back so that our contractors can win. Because in the end, when the contractors win, we win at SG Taurus. And I know that's the same way you feel at Hardy is when we win, you win. So I think that's kind of, you know, for, for the contractors out there wondering like how it all ties together. When you win, we win. When we win, Hardy wins. And that's, that's right. what we want everyone to know. Right. Yeah. No, you, you hit the nail on the head. But, um, you know, I think I've challenged contractor audiences to say, are you role playing in your own business? Right. Are you challenging your customer facing staff and pounding them with the questions that homeowners are likely to ask right. you? And I am certain that you already have customers who are fielding questions about things like IRA incentives. Oh, right. Yeah. So, you know, homeowners see this in the news and they're wondering, where's my thousands of dollars for whatever. And it's not there. It's not there right now. And it's not going to be there for, for a while. Right. The contractor who doesn't know that and can't articulate why it's not there, what mm -hmm. it looks like and all like that, and, and maybe someday when it will be, uh, are going to have a tough time. My guess is part of the reason you guys are also here is the great financing programs that EGI does. Mm -hmm. And 
It still to this day boggles our mind why utilization and promotion of consumer finance programs is still relatively low by the contractor community. And I can say with certainty, the contractors who don't consistently offer it are going to have an extremely tough time the next probably two years. Yeah. However, conversely, the contractors who do consistently offer it and have lots of options to, to offer a homeowner that are easy to apply for, easy to get approved for, are going to significantly outperform the contractors who don't. So that's value add. That's what mm -hmm. you're doing to really help that homeowner and what you're doing to help that contractor be prepared for it. Yeah. And, and you know, we've had different discussions here on Taurus Talk of why you should be offering financing on every job, how financing will grow your company, why it's a mistake if you're not offering financing, how to get started for financing. So again, this is kind of the, the message all the way through. And you know, we are here at Epic 2023. We're talking with EGIA all week and Optimus, the financing options. They threw us a great party last night <laughs> over at Dre's Nightclub. Too nice. Too nice. A little too nice. That's right. <laughs> but you mentioned earlier that there's a new partnership between Hardy and EGIA. Can you touch on that a little bit and what the value will be going forward for distributors like us and for the contractors in the, the long term. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're super excited about it. We, we sponsored a portion of the, of the Epic Conference out here because of this partnership, because we wanted the word to get out about mm -hmm. it. And we're really excited about it. So there's a few legs to it. Financing is obviously one of them. Yep. So we do a ton of market research. That's a, that's a big thing that Hardy's all about. I know you guys are huge right. consumers of it. Our State of the Channel report has confirmed over several years now that we're talking like 30% increases in performance of contractors who consistently offer financing right. over those who don't, right? Like that's, that's not a small bit. That's, no, a, that's a big huge. deal, right? And so that's one of the reasons we have the partnership because we need as a channel to figure out a way to get from 35% of contractors who consistently offer financing to, you know, 50, 60%, like whatever that number needs to yeah. be to, to keep the, the ball rolling. So that's one of them. We're going to work on collaborations that way, how we can help you convince contractors to use more of it. And, and, and let's be clear, we're agnostic on the financing program. We, we, we love what EGI has built, but honestly, I don't really care what program right. you use. All I know is you're going to need to use a financing program, right? Yeah. And it needs to be easy for the homeowner, quick on approvals, and ability to uh, benefit all scales of credit right. rating and, and customer out there, right? And EGA has a solution like that, but there are others too. So that's one big leg is what can we do collaboratively to grow the percentage of contractors who consistently offer the financing. Yep. The other part, EGA is, has a long history supporting energy efficiency programs, mm -hmm. primarily on the West Coast, but then have grown since then way beyond that to nationwide. Uh, utility programs all over the place that benefit the replacements of air conditioners, heat pumps, water heaters, all that sort of stuff. And uh, we want to leverage that. So we think we and, and, and EGA can work together to improve the design of the programs, the implementation of the programs. And for a lot of distributors, a lot of the administration tends to fall on the distributors. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes it's, it's almost a lost leader in some regards in terms of the time and effort you have to put into administering the program uh, compared to the incentive to move the product that right. you're trying to sell. We want to fix that too. And we think EGIA can be a, a valuable partner in that regard. An adjunct to that energy efficiency programs is all this IRA funding. So a huge portion of that is going to be a state rebate program, but the states don't have any guidance yet. They don't know how they're going to run it. And we think that we can collaborate on a model program that states can then adopt and we can then back up on and, and walk right in with e, our EGIA partners and help them implement it very, very quickly at a low cost and benefit you, the distributor, right. the contractors, and of course, the homeowners too in the whole deal. So those are two of the three. And then the training. Their contractor training program is, is really, really strong. It's a oh, yeah. great Top platform, notch. right? Problem still though is it's still only consumed by a small percentage of contractors. So what can we do to help grow that percentage of high performing contractors in the marketplace? Because we all know the industry needs more of that, right? Yes. Uh, it can't just be 10% of your customer base, right? It needs to be bigger than that. It needs to be uh, a more pervasive part of your customer base who are 
well-educated, hungry, learning, always improving, and looking to grow, honestly. And we think EGA has a lot of resources to help you do that. We've been here all week with them, and you know, we've had on founding faculty members, current faculty members. We've had on yourself, Women in HVACR, these organizations that are, are behind EGIA and behind training and the overall experience, like you said, efficiencies. I think we all can sit here and say both from the end, uh, from your end, the distributor end, and the end of the, the consumer, you know, the actual contractor, that sometimes the efficiency stuff and the rebates behind it and everything gets a little confusing. Mm-hmm. Getting that all in line is, you know, some things that are coming down the line. And the partnership between Hardy and EGIA is just going to be so beneficial, like I said, to us at SG Taurus because great partners with Hardy. We're here partnering up with EGIA to, to get more learning, get more information out to our customers. And then the winner in all of it, in all of these partnerships, is you, the contractor that's here listening to us talk. In the end, all this information that's being collected kind of behind the scenes is going to come to you in spades. And Hardy and EGIA and hopefully us at SG Taurus, we do everything we can to make it easily understandable and easily executed. Because if we just throw it at you and say, here's the IRA information and we throw you a PDF that's 495 pages long, nobody's getting through it. I mean, it's it's nearly impossible to get through that, especially as somebody who's trying to run a business. Right. So, you know, the ability to work with Hardy, work with folks like EGIA, help disseminate this information down, just kind of giving everyone out here listening a, a peek behind the curtain of, yeah. of what's going on. And I can speak for everyone at SG Taurus when I say that our relationship with Hardy is one that we, we value a lot. And, and we want to thank you so much for coming on to the podcast and, you know, giving our contractors a little bit of a, like I said, a peek behind the curtain. Yeah. And the relationship that we have with you is so valuable. And we just really appreciate you taking the time out to come on. Well, I, I, I love it. I, you guys are a great company, great members. Even Steven, I mean, he's actually a pretty good guy too. <laughs> um, no, no, the team over there is fantastic. Um, actually, Steven was on our board uh, just a few years ago, yep. which is great. But uh, uh, Matt uh, has done a tremendous job as he's, as he's uh, been in that role. But you guys do a great job and you get it. You, you get it. And so I think the best way to close this is, frankly, a bit of a challenge back to your customers, right? And, you know, even at this conference, right, there are companies that are three trucks that mm-hmm. are here. Like, this is not f- just for the monster right. contractors, right? There's a, there's a place for everyone here as long as you have that common model of, of wanting to grow, wanting to get better, right? And so that's not size dependent, right? That, exactly. You know, anybody can do that. Anybody who wants to do that can do that. And, and, and so the challenge back to your customers is, you know, a lot of distributors get hit every day with contractors saying, you know, you know, I'm the good guy. Why, you know, what about all these other guys out there? Are they, well, <laughs> are you the good guy? Right. Like, let's let's put that to the test. Let's go through a checklist of what you're doing to be the good guy. And let's figure out if you're really the good guy. Right. And if not, use resources like EJA, the other associations, what, you know, what all the training you guys offer. And let's check those boxes off to make sure you really are the good guy. You really are building a, a scalable, growth-minded company yeah. that does it the right way, serves their customers well, does their customers right, treats their people right, right? Let, and, and, and can be a company that goes from three trucks to 30 trucks or whatever the case may exactly. be, right? But does it with a smile on their face, right? Mm-hmm. They're not killing their people while they're doing it. Everyone is benefiting from that growth. I, I think that challenge is worth issuing, right? We need more of those contractors out there. Doesn't mean that everybody out there needs to try to be the you know 200 truck you know Goliath or anything like that. But look, if your goal is just to get from say three trucks to six trucks, well, are you doing it the right way? Are you yeah. doing it the right way where you really add value? to your customers, to your business, to your people, right? So I think that's what the Tauruses of the world, Hardy, we need to help with. And we're hoping that EJA can be a great partner with us to be a resource to do that as well. It's what we challenge you out there to do. And it's what we challenge upon ourselves as well. You know, between Hardy and SG Taurus and all the way down to you, we're all looking to get better, to grow together. And that's why these relationships are so important and why we wanted to make sure 
that everyone out there knew about our relationship with Hardy and about what benefits we're bringing to you. And again, we want to thank Talbot for coming on. Really awesome to have him on the podcast, especially out here at Epic 2023. Again, our last day out here. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. If you can find a podcast, you can find us. Just search Taurus Talk. Follow along on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And check out every episode of the podcast on our website or app. I want to thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Taurus Talk.